Hello, I'm Larson the Wolf, and this is Suits, a business RPG. Suits was developed by Technomancy Games and released on July 6, 2016 for PC for around a dollar. If there's one thing I think every critic can agree on with this game, it's the fact that the RPG mechanics and combat are pretty awful in this game. The pacing suffers from the scaling problems in the way most RPG maker RPGs do, and the combat is the same old bland turn based you would get in an early RPG. My biggest annoyance was during combat, both me and the enemy would miss way too much. In fact, I sometimes found myself doing nothing for three turns just because the enemy and I kept missing one another. The worst is the attack UI though, it's completely fucked up. With the numbers and names running into one another, it's just a completely screwed up UI that I can't believe even shipped the way it is. The combat is made even worse by an overly simplified armored and weapon system, and a party system that might as well not be there. Well, I say party system, but in my playthrough of the game, I was all alone. I never found a single soul to party up with. It wasn't until later when I was bumming around the community forums when I found there was a party member named Jerome that I somehow missed. He seems to be your only possible member in the game though, so any metagame to be found in the combat is virtually non-existent. Now this all being said, the combat in the game is uh, doable, it's just not a pleasant experience in my opinion. The one thing I do like about the combat is a move called Pit Win where you can pay an enemy, even a boss, to die for a large amount of currency. After using that move, the price to use it again will increase massively. It was a nice touch on fusing the game's theme with the combat. Alright, well enough about the mechanics, let's talk about something I actually did like about suits, the art style. The art style of the game kinda reminds me of off in that the enemies in the game seem to be mediocrely hand drawn, with their only colors being black and white. In fact, I would argue Suit's art direction is a little bit higher quality than Off's, as not only the enemies are hand drawn in a monochrome style, but the battle backgrounds are, many of the overworld assets, and a few animations as well. Speaking of the animations, the animations in the game are low in frames and minimalistic, but they're a nice touch that many RPG Maker games lack. Some attacks and Suit's even have their very own attack animation in the same style. Side note, the walking animations in the game are so bad they might as well not be there. Continuing with aesthetics, the music in Suits is either annoying and weird or bland and completely unforgettable. And that's all I'm saying about it. Moving on! This game seemed familiar to me the very moment I started playing it. I woke up and a bunch of weird shit happened without any explanation. Then I got to a level select hub and it was a train. I thought, oh cool, it's off inspired. Then I got to the first level and I was told to go to the basement and kill some ghosts and I thought, wow, this is really off inspired. And then I got to a guy, he has a baseball cap and he wants to vanquish some ghosts. That's kinda on the nose, but okay. Then after you go and get the MacGuffin of that level in the basement, I attacked him. His name's the Batter. That's really on the nose. Yeah, so I couldn't find any first party info on it, but this game is clearly off inspired. I wanted to clarify, it's not Earthbound inspired, it's off inspired. That being said, Suits may not be on the same level of weird that off was, but this game is still really spontaneous with its humor, so if you like random shit like this... Dinosaur, 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 dinosaur. dinosaur. Ah, there's dinosaurs everywhere. Oh god, oh, they're eating people. Who thought this was a good idea? Oh my god, oh, my god. Ah, ah, dinosaur, 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 
dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur. Then you should check this game out. Suits, I'm sure as you've noticed at this point, is completely void of any color, in order to give you that soul-sucking feeling of being at a desk job. That continues throughout the entirety of the game with the exception of a few easter eggs. And that, I can say without a doubt, is the best part about Suits. The hidden references and easter eggs. Suits is filled to the brim with pop culture references, including video games and YouTubers. In fact, one of the best parts of the game for me was when you had to defeat the CEOs of different entertainments. One of them was the video games, so I naturally worked my way up that tower first. I don't want to ruin too much, but after I enlightened some console peasants, killed Markiplier and JonTron, I reached the top of the tower to meet the CEO. The CEO was a fat fedora-wearing neckbeard, complete with katanas and a stained waifu pillow. So. If that kind of humor is up your alley, then you might want to check this game out, man. Just because I feel like I need to cover it, uh, the game's story was simple and weak. You're a businessman that was raised from birth, aspiring to move up in the world. Hijinks ensues for four hours. That's basically it. So if you're looking for a weird, monochrome game with hand-drawn assets and a spontaneous sense of humor, a game that has a sleuth of references from gaming and pop culture, then Suits a Business RPG is the game for you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're interested in other indie games like this, you may want to subscribe to the channel. I try to put up a review bi-weekly. What's more, this channel is fairly new, so I could really use any support you can get. Alright, thanks again. Later.